Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to experience a pouring medium. But what exactly is a pouring medium? Now, I had not planned on doing a video for you all today. This was supposed to be my rest day, experiment day, and relax, cool out. Well, I'm about to blow your mind with some of these quick and easy pouring medium uh, recipes. Take out your pen and paper, put your seatbelt on, and let's go. So, this impromptu bloom series started with video number 26, which was all great tips to get you going in your blooms if you're having trouble or you're failing. So then we transitioned to video 27, which was a bloom demonstration, me showing you how I measure out my paints. I don't use exact measurements. So video 28, let's go over some pouring medium recipes that should be accessible to a wide range of people. And if you don't know, now you know. This is Garrett Fryer Art Studios and I am back with another video just for you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's set the scene up really quickly. So we are exploring three different pouring mediums today. This is Liquitex pouring medium. We have Sergeant Pouring Medium, which I bought at the Dollar Tree. Yes, we are gonna make some fine art with Dollar Tree Pouring Medium. And lastly, we have Pouring Medium, which is an artist loft brand, and this can be found at Michael's Craft Stores. For those of you who are still asking for specific recipes, pay attention. Do not skip forward. <laughs> Up first, we're gonna use our liquid wax pouring medium. These are my colors of choice. And I am gonna score a dab. So two big blueberries worth of paint in each cup. Then I am going to pour my pouring medium in like so, like that. And I am running low, so I'm gonna switch to another bottle that I have. Now listen, don't judge me, this bottle a little messed up, but it's still the same thing. It's just been, a, been through some things, you know. Right now, this does not flow off my stick very well. This is a little H2O. You don't need much. Okay, maybe we need a little more than I thought. <laughs> Remember guys, this is all about the flow. Every paint is different, so there is no one set recipe. Recipes are simply guides. We're gonna do the same for our lime green. All right, now we're gonna to move to Artislav brand. And we're going to be pouring with Sargent. Now this is extremely thin, so I gotta play around with it a bit.
Ooh, I don't think this is going to come out well. But I'm going to record it because if it is a failure, I want you all to see that all artists fail from time to time. No matter how good you think they are, everybody has fails. Last but not least, we have Artist Love Pouring Medium, and I have never even used this before, so I gotta take the protective little coat thing off. And and lastly, we're gonna use Premier. This is more like the consistency of the liquid text. So I'm going to get everything set up here so we can experiment. Okay, guys, so really quick, we are ready to do the drip test so I can show you what the consistencies are. Now, remember, this is Artist Loft Pouring Medium. And this is Sargent. Sargent was really tricky because it was super thin and I've never worked with it so I don't really have any expertise on it. Also, I'm only using water and pouring medium, nothing else. So I'm just working with what I got. This is Liquitex. Alright, so up first, we are going to go with our Artist Loft. We are using US Flow Troll today. Ooh, gorgeous, y'all. Look, my goodness. That's what I'm talking about. This is our Sargent, which is the cheapest out of the three. I'm not expecting much. I think I'm gonna get a little bit of sales, but I don't think it's going to be anything to write home about.
and we still got some sales. I am very happy. And I'm speechless. Look at that. Mm. I would not have thought these colors would have reacted so well with each other. All right, look at here, my friends. Look, y'all, gorgeous. All right, so comment below which one is your favorite Liquitex, Sergeant Art, and Artist Loft. So I know we talk a lot about paint on this channel, but 
I want to transition to some other conversations really quickly. I am looking to start something called Wellness Wednesdays, where we can check in with each other on a video, tell how you're feeling that week. If you're feeling great, talk about it. If you're feeling not so great, we talk about it. But we as a pain point community can kind of inspire and encourage each other. You know, just, you know, if you're not feeling it that day, tell us what's going on and someone in the comments will write you something nice back. Um, what are your thoughts on it? Because there's so much love in the paint pouring community and we are all in this crazy world of a pandemic together. So like, let's just look after each other, you know. You never know who you might help with just a kind word. So as I transition to my clothes, I'm gonna leave you with this. Aspire to inspire others. Just think about it and we'll talk about it in another video. Thanks again for all of the new people who are subscribing. I've gotten like 10 emails with different questions and things of that nature. And no, I have not forgot about um, the YouTube basic series that is coming up soon. Um, I've just been really invested in this bloom here recently because uh, I want to show people how easy it can be, but you have to practice. Practice, 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 practice. Anywho, as always, family, do every single thing with love. And until the next time, peace.